Bonjour euh, Je vous invite à regarder mon vidéo pour savoir comment je euh, ne perds pas tous mes cinq langues. Vas-y Ciao ciao, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about how I maintain all of my different languages. Just as a quick background, I'm originally from Russia. I was born there, so that's how I speak Russian. My family is all Russian. Um, we moved to America when I was very young, so that's how I learned English. Um, my first word was actually chocolate in English. <laughs> um, then my good friend in childhood was Italian, so her mom used to give us like little weekly lessons in Italian. So that's how I started to learn Italian, and then I learned that I studied it for like probably eight years. Uh, then in school, in middle school, I started to learn French. Um, and I did that all the way through high school. I did the AP, I, you know, I took some French literature courses taught in French in university, so that's cool. Then also in high school, I started to study Latin, and I took the Latin AP <laughs> as well. Um, I had a lot of enjoyment studying Latin, it was really nice. And then also in high school, I tried to stealth study Chinese, but it was just really, really difficult. So I used Rosetta Stone to help me learn French in middle school while I was still at a very, very low level. But when I tried to do the same for Chinese, it was just too much for me to do on my own like that. So I kind of had given up on it a little bit. Um, and then in college, in my junior year, I finally, finally, I started to take Chinese class. And through that, I took that for two years for my junior and senior year and it was really really great I that was one of my favorite classes honestly I loved it so and the question is that I really get often is not only like oh how did you learn all those which I just answered but how do you maintain all of those and so this is the video where I talk about and I show you a little bit in depth of how I actually can keep all of them and like maintain them all in my daily life so let's go So oftentimes I like to go to this website called Nunti Latini. It's a Finnish online radio that broadcasts both textual and like podcast style news, like just news that's actually going on right now. Nunti Latini radiofoni e finike generalis quos vobis rekitat pirpiseppälä pekkanen. USA et Mexicum consensionem immigrationis coercende in venerunt. Itakve USA Portoria Kvinkve Kentesi Marum Sikut Ante Minita. If you didn't know a lot of the words in the article, then they have a glossary where you can just look them up because they're pretty special. So I'll be completely legit. I can't like speak a word of Latin except for like Salvete Discipuli. Um I can read it all and I can understand everything that they say and I can read it and like but I can't like um conjure up my own sentences i can't it, it's i don't know it's so i have like a comprehension but not a generation of the language anymore but honestly that's kind of all that i really need from it so i'm not i'm not too mad about that so you just saw how i do for latin i just every morning i listen to one article of the news that they post for french one of the things i do is I have like some French books. I just read them. <laughs> it's easy as that. And when I don't know some words, for example, like honestly that comes up a lot. If I don't know some words, I just make them as post-its and I, whenever I go back, I can see that those are the words I didn't know, what they mean, <laughs> and there you go. So for Chinese, I also do the same. I have a lot simpler of a Chinese book and I also just go through and I read it. So the difference, this is like a legit just anybody reads it book that you can buy, but this one is more of a like student learner. Um, and the really nice thing about this one, for some words that they don't expect you to necessarily know, they'll have it at the bottom right here like the definitions of it and then every time you see it 
moving forward it won't have those definitions at the bottom it'll have like new ones or just nothing at all so that's why i really like this one that you don't have to like this is one where if you're at this level you can just comfortably read this book and you don't have to have like constantly translating something and then like writing it down and forgetting the character literally like five seconds later so and then i also have for i have an e-reader a pocket book 626 this is fantastic okay so this one it's with electronic ink so it's not like reading on an ipad or a computer it's um completely it's probably like what the kindles are like it's exactly the same just this one has it can read a lot more different file formats so i will also read sometimes in russian on here let me find one i haven't so for example here we go ali parusa so i can read this it'll take a while because i haven't opened this but here you go you can see that it's all in Russian and then it the way the electronic ink works just refreshes yeah so it's super convenient you can just download books however you prefer to that is all through reading there's one more way that I do reading actually reading is the main way that I maintain all of my languages to be honest um, then I have also this app called right here it's called do chinese so this one's really cool this one actually has like i think it would be much smarter for me to just record my screen and then upload it on here so that's what i'm gonna do i'll be a better youtuber okay so um on this one you have like different levels of lessons so for example, you have like the newbie if you don't know that many words. Um, so an example, and it's very simple to use, like you can just highlight one word and it gives you the pinyin and the English. And then you can just go through, you can touch the whole sentence to get a translation of the whole thing. You can also say it out loud. Have them play it for you. That was a little extra, but yeah, so this is like a newbie. Then you have intermediate, which is a little bit more, you know, it's got a few pages, usually, a more complex vocab. Then there's upper intermediate, not always many it's just like the complexity of the grammar and the verbs and like structures and everything then there's advanced so also has a lot of pages but that's not the point so yeah but yeah so this is a good app another thing that i like to use twitter it says my twitter i have specifically followed a lot of accounts from um foreign places for example here's chinese again um i can open something up and get some words or even just honestly seeing these characters that obviously i already know already it can really help in just keeping up with it and so obviously most of my feed is in english and a lot of american news but soon we're gonna come to something that's hopefully why is everything the new york times oh my gosh New York Times, go away. And then travels in Chinese. Okay, where? Okay, here we go. So here we have a Russian account. Telekanal Rasia Adyan, Piro Kanal. So we have a little bit of Russian news and then people who respond to it. Um, wow, this is a really terrible, terrible, terrible example. I literally can't find a single one. Okay, this is really embarrassing. This is horrible. But here, for example, in my notifications, I get RT France started a broadcast. Antarctide, Antarctide, uh, whatever. Another one, Acte 2. Edouard Philippe prononce sa déclaration de politique générale devant l'Assemblée. I do have them. I just don't understand why 
my weird ass news feed is not showing them in case you missed it here we go this is a better example pope francis tells oil and gas english russian официально саммиты шос и брикс в следующем году пройдут 22 23 июля в челябинске um we got a bunch of english again then we got a french um yeah so there we go that's a, that's a much better example i don't know why it wasn't showing up before probably because i i don't cater my feed that well um oh there's one more app so this one is if you have like actually a decent amount of free time um it's called hello talk so this one, it's literally, you can pick a language that you speak and pick a language that you want to practice speaking with other people. And you just message people in that language. Ugh, okay, this is really bad of me, but because of, um, I stopped going on this app because I was like really in the midst of my final exams and I had a really big project and whatever and graduation and now my family's moving. So I haven't been able to like keep up with people that are strangers. I've been trying to keep up with like family and actual friends, you know, but this is an example of where you just talk to people like see I've been like trying to talk to them a little bit. Uh, this guy, it's all audio messages. You can do audio messages. Oh, another really cool thing. So suppose I didn't understand what she said here. I can translate it into English. Very, very useful. Um, another thing you can make it speak. Another thing you can also do is transliterate it. So get the pinyin or whatever pronunciation for the different language. I chose Chinese just because um, that's what I chose because I was studying it at that moment. So I have a lot of people that I was trying to talk to. Not everybody answers. It's, it's really nice, honestly. Like when I was using it, I really did enjoy it. But I've just been a little too busy to actually talk to people. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then for other things, I guess for Russian, my family's Russian, so I just, you know, call my family and speak to them in Russian. There are some, it also helps, you know, I think honestly following people on your social media who post in different language, if you follow them and you just see their posts that are written in that language and you just like try to comment with them, like interact, like even if your language ability kind of sucks, just like write the comment. Yeah, I hope that this was helpful. Uh, this is how I keep up with all of my different languages. I guess if you want to hear me speak in all of them, then I guess I can do that too. <laughs> but yeah, so good luck with your language learning and I'll see you next time. Bye.